Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a super affordable perfume haul to share with you. So this is going to be in two parts. This is the first part of the order. Um, I have, I think, three more bottles, three or four more bottles coming that shipped separately from these. So I picked all of these up from Joma Shop, which I am affiliated with, and um, if you do use one of my Joma Shop links, I will get a small commission. Um, however, I paid for all of these bottles of perfume with my own money. Um, I became affiliated with Joma Shop maybe like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, and I hadn't ordered from them before, so I wanted to put it in order so I could, just so I knew what the experience was like ordering from them, what customer service was like, what shipping times were like, and all of that. So I ordered the, let me see. I placed this order on February 26th, and I got it yesterday, which was March 2nd. So that's how quickly um, my order came from the day that I, or from the time I placed it until I got it. It was really, really quick. It does tell you on their website like which fragrances are in stock and if it's not in stock, how long it's gonna take to get to you. So I did know that the three or four other ones that I ordered, I knew that those would ship separately because they had, um, because they weren't in stock. Not that they couldn't get them, but they weren't in stock. But anyways, most of these are Latafa fragrances. I think I've got two that are not. And, but the rest is Latafa. So anyways, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna jump right in because I am super excited to share these with you. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about and the most important one is going to be um, this one here. This is a fragrance from Afnan and this is called Supremacy Gold, I believe, or just Afnan Supremacy. I guess it's just Supremacy. Um, so this is what the box looks like. Really pretty. This one is the one that I was saying um, people compare to Guerlain Queer Beluga, which is a $360 bottle of perfume. So I was really, really hoping to find a good alternative to that fragrance. This is similar, but it is definitely not a dupe. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's like mirrored, so my camera will probably have a hard time focusing on it. But yeah, really pretty, very like heavy, substantial bottle. I love the top, you just grab it and pull it off. It is definitely similar to Queer Beluga, however, it is way like brighter smelling. Yeah. The only way that I can describe this in comparison to Queer Beluga is if you think of it in like the terms of singing voices. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but Queer Beluga would be an alto singing voice. She would be like the deepest range in the choir. This is like a second soprano. This is way sharper, much brighter, and a little bit louder than Queer Beluga. It is a little bit similar. I definitely understand why it's being compared, but it's not a dupe. And for somebody like my friend Christine, who I love, who that's her, the Queer Beluga is her absolute favorite fragrance, this is just not gonna cut it. This isn't gonna cut it. As an alternative for her, it's just not close enough, and it's too different, really. It's too bright in the top. It's sweet too, it's a lot sweeter than Queer Beluga. But both have this like really beautiful, kind of fuzzy, smooth dry down. Really beautiful vanillic dry down. I'm gonna have to give this a good full wear test. I did spray, I sprayed this on one arm and Queer Beluga on the other arm just to test them side by side to see if they were, um, you know, a close, if it was a close dupe and it's not. So I'm gonna have to wear this. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm gonna have to wear it and see how it works with my skin. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to be overly sweet on me, that it's gonna be too sweet on my skin because, and that could be it too. It could be that it is 
closer to Queer Beluga than I think, but on my skin, this went incredibly sweet. Um, this kind of behaved in the way that peach a lot of the time behaves on me. The only thing I can compare this to or that I can think of as far as like another fragrance that went too sweet on me was the new formulation of Burberry Women or Burberry for her. Um, the new formulation is too cloyingly sweet. It's got too much peach in it and the peach is just not good on me. The same thing happens with this one. It's the, the fruitiness or whatever is in this, it, it goes too sweet. It gets a little bit cloying on my skin. I am still gonna, like I said, give this a good wear test. I'm gonna see how it wears on me. Um, but that could be contributing to why I don't think it's a very good dupe for Queer Beluga because on my skin, it just went way too sweet. But anyways, I will keep you guys updated. I will do a good full wear test and I'll update you in a What I Wore Last Week video. Um, so yeah, that is the first one. That is Supremacy from Afman. Okay, next, and I love everything came in its own, like, bubble wrap bag, which I love. Next we have a Latafa fragrance. This is Latafa Anna Ab Abied. Anna Abied I Am White. Oh, let me show you, I'm sorry. This is what the box looks like. Really, really pretty box, like really pretty box. The Latafa bottles are on another level. They're so like luxurious feeling. They're so heavy. The glass, it's like such thick glass. You get these beautiful lids. They're just really pretty bottles. This one, I don't think I'm gonna end up keeping this one. Only because, to me, it smells really, really similar to um, the one, gosh, I've already forgotten the name of it. It's the one that's in the really, really beautiful, like multicolored bottle. Um, my lovely friend from California sent it to me. I can't remember the name of it, but to me, this is really, really similar. Okay, so this one is like, it's really, really fruity. This one is orange, bergamot, vanilla, pear, musk, and amber. And I thought for sure I was going to love this because of the pear in it and the vanilla and the musk. And I do need to try this on my skin before I make a final decision on it, but it's, really, really sweet, like way overly sweet. And because I already have something that smells similar to it that I like a lot better because it's that the other one that I have is not nearly as sweet as this is. And I love the dry down of the one that I've already got. And with them being so similar, I just, I never need to keep <laughs> similar fragrances in my collection. It is really pretty. The quality is definitely there. Um, I just don't, I just don't think this one is gonna end up being for me. So anyways, that one is called Anna Abied. I am white. But if you look it up on Fragrantica, it's just Anna Abied. So that is that one. Okay, this next one, this is an Al Hermine oil. Um, this is an oil from Al Hermine and it is called Musk Black Vanilla. It's cute, it's got little 50 years on it, I guess, Al, Al Hermine has been around for 50 years. But anyways, it's another one of these oils. So I had somebody send me one of these Al Hermine oils. I forget which it, I think it's called Musk Orchid. And it's kind of a dupe for Carolina Herrera Good Girl, which I don't love Good, Good Girl, but I love that oil because it's way better quality and way smoother smelling than Good Girl. But anyways, I saw this one called Black Vanilla and I was like, heck yeah, I wanna know what this black vanilla one smells like musk black vanilla. It smells like something. It smells like something I've smelled before. It's really, really woody. It smells like something niche for sure. It's something I've smelled before, but it's too masculine smelling for me. I might see if my husband wants this. If he likes it and wants it, then I'll, I'll let, you know, maybe he can take it off my hands for me, but if not, then yeah, I'm gonna end up decluttering this because it's too masculine for me, it's too woody. I don't love a really, really woody scent, so too masculine, too woody, not my cup of tea, but really nice quality, just like the Musk Orchid. It's like super nice quality, pretty sure it's a clone for some niche fragrance, and it's really beautiful. 
it's just not my cup of tea. So anyways, that is Al Haramine Musk Black Vanilla. Okay, next. So it's this one's kind of been a little bit of a fail. <laughs> um, blind buying all of these they because a lot of these have not been my favorite but i think this next one actually i think the last three that we're going to talk about i think i ended up really liking these ones so the next one we have is another latafa this is ektiari i think is how you say it latafa ektiari this is what the box looks like i love middle eastern perfumes they're huge yeah this is huge this is a huge bottle of perfume it's a huge box it's got like black little matte balls in the bottom the bottle which i really like um, I'm not super crazy about this top and the top is a little bit cheap feeling um, It's definitely just like plastic and the silver part is plastic. The bottle itself though is Crazy like heavy really expensive feeling like really substantial and beautiful. I love this perfume um let me find the notes of this one. Oh, this one is gorgeous. Okay. So this one is, it says the top notes are fruits and mandarin orange. Middle notes are gardenia and jasmine. Base notes are musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. I bought it for the base notes. Well, I love gardenia too. I love all the notes in this actually. I love mandarin, I love gardenia and jasmine, I love musk, vanilla, and tonka. I knew based on the note breakdown I was gonna love this one. This gets compared to Hermes, Jour de Hermes Absolu. Um, I've only smelled, I used to have a bottle of Jour de Hermes. Um, this is m like much more substantial than the Hermes. This is really beautiful. I love this one. I'm so excited about this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to say pineapple because you get this beautiful brightness that seems like pineapple, but it doesn't really smell like pineapple. But you've kind of, you've got that beautiful, almost acidic smelling fruit in the top. I almost get a little bit of, I almost get a little bit of a pear note, but it's not nearly as sweet as the pear in the Anna one. God, it's gorgeous. This one is so good. I'm gonna spray, I haven't sprayed this on my skin yet. I'm gonna spray this on my hand and see. Yes, I love this one. I'm definitely getting pear or apple. Yeah, maybe like a pear or an apple, or maybe even a combination of the two. On my skin, I definitely get more of like an apple or maybe even a little bit of a pineapple. I don't know because it just says fruit notes. I hate it when they when they do that. They don't tell you what fruits. So you kind of kind of have to guess. It could be pear, apple, or pineapple. That's kind of what I get. But then the fruity notes kind of start to fade to the background and then the beautiful florals come out, the gardenia and the jasmine more jasmine than gardenia. It's gorgeous, it's clean, it's a little bit sweet, it's heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a heavy perfume. And as it wears, as it warms on your skin, it becomes more dense. I love, I don't know that everybody would love that, it's definitely not a light and airy perfume. See, and I remember the Jour de Hermes being a very light and airy perfume. So anyways, yeah, I really love this one. This one is a definitely, definitely a winner for me. I am gonna throw the box away for this one because this is one that I know for sure I am keeping. So anyways, that one is called Ektiari from Latafa. Okay, and then we're down to the last two. Okay, next we have this one here called Kaltat. Al Arabia. <laughs> this one says Royal Blends on it. Okay, this one, this is what the box looks like on this one. It's really pretty. It's like a really, really pretty box. I love the, and it's textured on the sides as well. Really pretty. And then this is what the bottle looks like. Super, super pretty. I love how like shiny it is um, and it's got this really pretty lid. It's got this kind of black inlaid design. It's just like plastic. The lid is just plastic and again the lid, this one doesn't feel quite as cheap as some of the others. This one feels a little bit more substantial than the others. And this bottle, oh my gosh I forgot how much I love this one. 
This one is so good. This one might be my favorite one. Yes, I love this. This one does not have coconut in the notes, but I swear it's got coconut in it. I swear I smell coconut in this. So this one is fruits and apple, spices, nutmeg, clove, amber, musk, and woodsy notes. I swear I get coconut. And it could just be the way that the fruits and the spices are mingling. It's like giving me the illusion of coconut, but I swear it smells like coconut to me. So for some reason, people compare this to Byredo Pulp. It literally smells nothing like Byredo Pulp. It could not be further away from Byredo Pulp. Byredo, in fact, I just gave it a big, huge thumbs down for Byredo Pulp. I don't know why people would even, and apparently 14 people agree that it smells like that. It smells nothing like that. This is a spicy amber fragrance. This smells closer to Kamra, which is the, is it called Kamra, I believe? The one that's a dupe for Angel Share. It's closer to something like that than it would ever be to pulp. People also compare this to a fragrance from Pure Distance called Shade Duna number no. seven, which I've never smelled that. It also gets compared to a Serge Luton's fragrance called Queer Maresque, which definitely, and those are all like warm, spicy amber fragrances. Pulp is like, the most beautiful tart citrus fragrance. So I'm so confused about the pulp comparison. I mean, this is amazing. It's so good. It's my favorite one. It's like a spiced fruit fragrance. It's if you like fragrances like Angel Share, and I'm not saying it smells like Angel Share, but if you like fragrances like Angel Share, like a really sweet spiced fragrance of everything that I ordered, this is my favorite. I'm so in love with this. This one, definitely the box is being thrown away because this is going nowhere. <laughs> this, this is the absolute winner of this blind buy order and I love it. So that one is called um, Call Tot Al Arabia Royal Blends. It's such a good one. Okay, and then last we have um, Latafa Musk Mood. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love this. Um, like I love this, <laughs> this packaging. It's like this huge round bottle and then you pull up the lid and there's your fragrance. So Musk Mood, this one is getting a ton of hype. Um, I think, like I've had people tell me that this is getting a ton of hype, so I don't know for sure because I haven't seen the hype, but I've had a lot of people tell me it's just getting like a ton of hype. So anyways, Latafa Musk Mood. This is my second favorite thing that I picked up. Number one, I love the bottle. This one is very substantial feeling. The lid and everything is very substantial feeling. Um, I love the ribbon wrapped around. I love the ribbon label. I love everything about this bottle. I think it's so cute. It's very feminine and it's, I love the shape of the bottle. I love everything about it. It's just beautiful. I love the shape of the lid. Um, it's a heavy, substantial lid, a heavy, substantial bottle, and this is a beautiful, sweet white musk fragrance. Um, I'm having a musk moment right now where I'm like really, really into everything musk. This is like a, a strong, powdery white musk fragrance, a strong, clean, powdery white musk. Definitely powdery. If you're not into powdery fragrances, I would stay away. It's a sweet, clean, powdery white musk. It's almost vintage smelling. It's almost got, in fact, let me look it up. I would bet that this has jasmine in it because it's almost like an indolic jasmine. So this one is citruses and fruits, white musk, floral notes and vanilla, more white musk in the base and sandalwood. Um, I'm getting some kind of an indolic white floral in the middle. My guess would be an indolic jasmine. So if you're not into an indolic white floral and if you're not into something that leans just slightly vintage and if you're not into powdery, I would stay away from this. But if those all sound good to you, then this is probably a good fit. Um, I absolutely love it. It's stunning. This is gonna be like a one or two sprays and done. This thing is nuclear. It's so incredibly nuclear. It's like a powerhouse. I cannot wait to test this one. 
um, to give it like a good full wear test because I just think it's gonna wear beautifully and I think I'm gonna love this. So yeah, that one is called Latafa Musk Mood. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of something from the 80s. It almost reminds me of a way, way stronger Alyssa Ashley white musk. Yeah, in fact, I think that's what it's reminding me of is a really strong Alyssa Ashley white musk or maybe like a really strong combination of Alyssa Ashley white musk and skin musk from Parfums Decor, I think it is called. Yeah, it's something, something like that. It's gorgeous, I love it. So anyways, that is Latafa Musk Mood. This is another one I'm keeping out um, of its box because it's not going anywhere. Mm, so good. So anyways, guys, that is the end of part one of my super affordable perfume haul. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.